It's a new day, it's after lunch. Did a few things this morning, chatted with a neighbor, more fire inspectors, same guys, different guys. So I finally finished the hitch, made all the last final adjustments and I put it up against the bumper and it doesn't look right and I measure it and I'm off by three quarters of an inch. That much, I don't know what I did wrong, but. So I'm obviously not gonna cut all this off and re-weld it. Some of it's even double welded. So I just had an idea that I would take my old draw bar from my green trailer that one day had a little issue. Yep, went to the quarry, got a little too many stones and dragged her home. So wouldn't you know it, it's exactly one size bigger than what I was using to make this tow bar adapter. Well, not exactly. A little bit of duct tape or some coffee. So, here's a piece of this green stuff all polished up. And I welded on a piece of 3 16 And watch this. See if I can balance the camera. Perfect fit. Nice and snug. So I welded that on. Now I'm going to go over to the drill press and this is where the, uh, this used to be one of the pins, and look at that's worn oval. I'm going to drill it there. I can't drill this side because I don't know where it's going to adjust to. I wish I had the car here. I don't have the time. Oh, look at this. I had a little fire earlier. I caught myself on fire. Yep, a little smoky. Smoky Corvair Wild. So I think what I'm going to do... I can't put a through bolt because I don't know where it's going to end up and I can't space them because it might be in between the holes and it doesn't really matter because the tow bar is going to draw right off the frame from there this doesn't really have to be connected I'm just going to weld a nut to this and then tighten it down and the nut will bear down on that tube right there remember him Ed Sullivan boy he ran Hollywood little shim, weld a nut, put a bolt down there and it'll firm that right up. But it doesn't really have to be strong because the tow bar toes directly in front of the bolts. So that's what I'm doing. Getting her done. And I did not forget the eye. C-O-R-V-A. Wait a minute. Cor bar wild. Oops! Forgot the eye. Aye, aye, aye. There we go. All fixed. Junk Chinese drill. No, I really should do this with two hands. So. Oops. Bumping up against the stop. Chinese drill press. What are you going to do? We want cheap tools. End up with made in China junk. Junk. Yep, all the way through. It's funny, there's a delay. <laughs> Less than a second, but it's still a delay. Uh huh. Mr. Muggs. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to weld a nut on this side and just set screw it down. That's what I'm going to do. Rust-oleum. 
forensic fire detective is still next door checking out the wreck. I said, I know you can't disclose any private information, but I'm just dying to know what the problem was. He says, yeah, so are we. That's our job. we got to get paid, so we got to figure out what happened. He says, like putting the jigsaw puzzle back together. It's always burned the most where the fire started. It's pretty obvious. But you got to rule out certain things that look like they might have been the cause, but just happened to be there. Even if there's a pail of gas in the apartment, doesn't mean that's what started the fire. Anyways, that's what they get to pay the big bucks for. I'm just spray painting a little here and give you some name recognition. Rustoleum, made by the Rustoleum Corporation. Hawthorne Parkway, Vernon Hills, Illinois. Rustoleum Corporation. Whee! Long sweeps and don't tilt your arm in an arc. Try to keep the sweeps square. That's a painter's secret. I don't know how to paint. I wish Fisher would paint some more stuff for me, but he doesn't like doing the big jobs. Oh well. Oh well. I haven't mentioned in my video the shutdown of the federal government. And I also haven't listened to satellite radio to hear what the uh, POTUS, that's channel one something, gives a balanced view, and then there's Patriot Radio. Sometimes it's interesting. There's good points to both sides of the argument. I just don't have time to listen to yours. These circles, pipes broke off on this bar adapter years ago. I rewelded them. Rattle can spray paint. Up until I had Pisser paint my Suburban, I had never had a vehicle painted except for that S10. I paid a guy a hundred bucks. Fifty dollars of paint. Fifty dollars of labor. Tape it and paint it with rattle can flat black. Get rid of that ugly, ugly blue. what the right way to run a government is. Hundreds of thousands of employees, big go. Big go. Contracts, payoffs, private government run, private corporations, conservatives, liberals, who knows. Side now, I want to flip this over. I want to get my paws. Paws. Oh, I got a drip. Whee! There goes one of my chunks. Some paint shop I run, huh? We'll just call it Grass Gray. Yeah, just pick it out. It's just a trailer hitch adapter. Wipe it on my trousers. Remember when folks used to call pants trousers? Why do they call a woman's shirt a top? Why don't they call it a shirt or a blouse? Some words are funny. The whole kit and caboodle. Monkey business. The whole nine yards. Nine yards of concrete. Who knows? Questions. Questions are good. Conversation's good. Socializing is good. Socialism. Socialism is a sidewalk in front of your house. Everybody gets to use it. Everybody pays for it. Everybody gets to use it. Chevrolet. got her a new one, a Sony with dedicated panorama button. Anybody wants to come party with me, she's going to Peru next week. Machu Picchu. So let's let the parties begin.
turn it upside down and spray the paint out of the nozzle. Alright, this can dry now. And I'll spray on some high gloss black. Black paint. Keep it from rusting, even though they're predicting beautiful weather for days and days and days and days.